next time you see these pearly whites without a uh, metal on them, they'll be so straight and pretty. It's gonna be a brace face. We're gonna have to watch that cartoon now. I remember that cartoon. So I nervous. Had a big smile. The before. You'll see the. Oh my god. This feels so crazy. It's really hard to close my mouth. It's really hard to talk. I have like a lisp now. I mean, pretty much everyone that gets metal across their teeth is going to talk a little bit funny for a while. I cannot freaking believe I have braces on. What? I'm really curious to see my teeth move. I just, I have a feeling they're gonna be stubborn. They're already like really crooked and jacked up so I wouldn't be surprised if I had these on for like at least two years. These ones right here without the brackets are getting extracted within like the next six weeks so I'm gonna have a really cute gap on both sides. Not excited for that but gotta make room for my teeth to move into place. My skin looks freaking horrible so I pretty much just look like I'm a teenager again. <laughs> hey guys this is a super spontaneous little sit down talk right now. I just realized that I've had my braces on for exactly one month so I wanted to do like a quick update on how they've been going so far. In the first week I was kind of living in regret. I was like what have I done to myself because they were pretty sore, pretty painful, nothing terrible. I took ibuprofen and I was pretty fine. The only thing was eating. Um, I literally couldn't chew. They put these things um, like attached to my top teeth kind of back here to keep um, my teeth from closing together so that these front like teeth don't hit these bottom brackets because my overbite is so bad. This is a really flattering cute angle but right there those little like greenish bluish things I don't exactly know what it's made of. It's like cement. It doesn't move. I'm a teeth grinder so I feel like I've kind of grinded them down a little bit. They felt way bigger but it could be just because my mouth has gotten used to them. Those were my worst nightmare when I first um, got the braces on. I hated not being able to close my mouth. My jaw was kind of like slack all the time and it got so freaking sore. I was like holding my jaw a lot of the time for like the first week. Day five, I was like miserable. I had been living off of mashed potatoes, applesauce, um, smoothies, basically anything that I can drink or I can just swallow without chewing. After week two was done and gone. I was pretty okay to start chewing food again. My teeth can't really close together and obviously the overbite is still horrible. They haven't like actually corrected anything like with my jaw yet so my teeth still rest way back here. That's horrible right? The very beginning was the roughest for sure but we're a month in and I'm feeling really good about them. Like I'm not really self-conscious about them as much anymore. My talking as you can tell has gotten a lot better. When I first got them I was like so lispy. Now I still like whistle when I say f like f's. Only sometimes though like it's random. My braces don't have these connected to anything back here yet to like tighten them to make everything move because they have to take these out first to make room. I'm gonna be so self-conscious about these teeth being missing. Those are like a main part of my smile. 
I'm gonna look like such a goober, <laughs> but I just have to keep the end game in mind. It's all going to be worth it when I finally have the smile that I've always wanted. So yeah, that's where I'm at with my braces. One month in, I'm feeling really positive and good about them. I think this two years is really just gonna fly by, to be honest. If I even have to keep them on that long, we'll see. I know some people have to have them on for like up to five years, so I really am just hoping and praying that that's not me. I will obviously keep you updated. Hey guys, we are two months in to this braces experience. So this is probably, well, it's only like the second update, but it's probably the most exciting one so far because I have noticed a dramatic difference in the way that my teeth have been moving like over this past month. My front teeth are pretty flush with the other ones now. They don't like stick out super far, which is so exciting because that was like the number one thing that I was self-conscious about were these gaps. Now, as you can see, I do have different gaps because I got these two extracted. I was going to do a update like as soon as I got my extractions done, but honestly it was like a disgusting bloody mess. There was like raw flesh. It was not cute at all. So I decided to just wait until like the two month update to show you guys the extractions. The surgeon that was um, pulling these two teeth out had them out like within a minute, like both of them. It was crazy. I just got the numbing. I didn't get put to sleep or anything. The recovery after wasn't that bad. I only had to be careful with, you know, suction and everything for a few days because you don't want to get like the dry sockets or whatever. So yeah, here's how my teeth are looking now. All these are like straight now, which is crazy. These ones are moving pretty damn fast. Everything's going really well. Like the cleaning process isn't as bad as it was like week one. I thought it was going to be this huge hassle, but as soon as you get used to them, it's really not that bad. I only wore the wax the first few days, probably not even like the first week. I still have so much. I just never use it because my lips are so used to it. So I will see you in month three and we'll see how, um, how far these gaps have closed. Hopefully they close pretty fast because I'm feeling like a hobo. Hey guys, excuse the drastic hair change since the last time you saw me. So I'm about to film a video and I just wanted to quickly do a braces update because I realized that I totally forgot to do a four month update. As you can see, there's a lot more like spacing happening, but everything is getting really straight, which is awesome. The bottom two that were really caved in before are pretty much almost straight the gaps that resulted from the extractions that I got are closing way more. There's still giant gaps back there, but everything else is kind of spacing out to fill that gap. I know those gaps are going to close, obviously. That's like the whole reason that they pulled them out, but they're not like really crowded in there. So I'm curious to see how that's going to work out. I actually haven't been to the orthodontist since the appointment right after my extractions. Um, my next appointment, I believe, is the end of July. That's when they're gonna tighten everything, check on everything, make sure it's all going good, and hopefully we see those gaps tightening up. Basically, the pain has been very bearable ever since I first got them on. This tooth on this side was like a problem tooth before I even got the braces on, and then they put that, you know, cement stuff right on top of it. And I guess I've been like grinding my teeth a little bit. Obviously, grinding on the little cement ball things in there is not good. But other than that, really nothing to worry about. Cannot wait until the end. <sighs> so excited. Hey guys, I was just about to go wash my makeup off, and I was like, oh wait, I need to do a braces update. We are exactly six months in. I got these springs which like connects to these things out here. Makes my smile look a little bit metally and strange, but kind of used to that by now. The springs were kind of pretty painful actually when I first got them on. I never really seen them on braces before. Maybe I just didn't pay attention. They were only painful for a couple days though and it was just like an overall soreness, nothing too crazy. Other than that, not a whole lot has changed. My bottom ones are looking really straight. It's pretty cool. I just like ate and drank lemonade, so I don't know if my teeth look really gross right now. Sorry. Yeah, that's how it's going so far. The only thing that bugs me right now is these things up here because my lip will like get caught on them. <laughs> Hello everyone. So it is February 2018. Do you guys know what that means? I've had my braces on for one full year. I can't actually find the footage of my nine month update. I'll probably hopefully find it by the time I edit this all together. We might be just jumping from the six months to now. Um, a lot has changed since then. The gaps from the extractions are completely closed up. And then this last appointment, they moved the little concrete pieces that used to be right here. Now they're actually right behind my front teeth right here. My tongue hits those instead of my front teeth now and it's a really strange feeling. My appointments are still really not bad as far as like pain. Um, when I get new wires my 
teeth feel sore and like tight for a couple days but they don't feel in pain or anything so that's super nice. I feel like the worst part is definitely over now it's just letting them the braces sit on really just like align my teeth to make sure that everything is gonna stay where they're supposed to be now. I just wanted to give you guys an update since we're one year in. I've been able to notice um, just a change in my confidence and just a change in how I talk to people. My braces don't really bother me anymore. I'm so used to them now that it's been a year. I used to not really want to talk to people because I thought they would see my braces or they would see my braces and my crooked teeth and all that but not a straight teeth with just metal on them so it's not nearly as embarrassing. So I think that's all I have to update you guys on right now. Hey guys so I just wanted to do a quick little update because I got rubber bands so what these are doing they are basically just aligning my bite, making sure that my jaw is coming forward enough so that my bite can be aligned. I also did start getting gray uh, power chains, which is the bands that go around your brackets to keep everything tight. Well, I got gray ones this time so that they won't yellow. That's been working out really nicely. I have been using the rubber bands for a couple months now. I totally forgot to do an update like when this happened, but I just realized that I haven't done an update since I got the rubber bands. So at first this one was kind of a struggle. For some reason it wouldn't really hook on my bottom bracket very well. So it took a little while. I kind of just have to open my mouth while I'm doing it, create some tension with the rubber band. Oh, my arm is tired. That was like two minutes. The rubber bands are really annoying at first. I didn't want to wear them, but you know, the f like more you wear them, the faster you're gonna get your braces off because it is like all about the correctiveness and all that. So I only take them out when I eat and then when I'm done eating, I clean my teeth and put them right back in. So there's really no breaks. It used to feel really weird only being able to open my mouth that much. <laughs> I can open my mouth wider. It's just, it really stretches the rubber band. So you're not keeping the elasticity of them um, and you want them to be nice and, you know, tight, but they're not gonna like snap or anything. I filmed a hairstyle video and I totally didn't wear them and I was filming for like a few hours. So totally not good, don't recommend. The more you wear them, the quicker your braces are gonna come off. So I definitely want them off ASAP. Oh my God, I totally forgot. I can't believe I forgot. I don't have any concrete in my mouth. My bite is aligned in a way that my uh, brackets aren't gonna like hit each other and my teeth aren't gonna hit my brackets anymore. So that's been so, so nice. Now it's just like the rubber bands that make me talk a little bit funny cause my lips kind of catch on them. Also ignore my lipstick. I've had this on for hours and I didn't even think to touch it up before filming this. Getting closer and closer to being able to post this video after this whole thing is done. So I'm so excited for that day because that means my braces will be gone. Hey everyone. So I'm going to just do a quick update because I realized that although I told you guys last time that I had rubber bands, I didn't like really show you guys what they look like and my rubber band pattern just changed. I don't really know how many different kinds there are, but I know depending on what you've got going on, they give you different kind of strength rubber bands. So yeah, these are the tortoise ones. So this is what they look like. You just slip them on these little brackets. I don't have it on me right now because I'm a failure, but they give you like this little card with the placement, like all of your teeth, and then they draw lines where you're supposed to connect the rubber bands. This side of my mouth, I just do this top one here and then that bottom one right there. So after wearing rubber bands for a while, you get really used to it and you can kind of do it without looking. So that's what it looks like on that side. I'm gonna switch. Wow, my cat just slid across the floor. I have to do kind of a triangle on this side. So it's a little bit harder to do without looking too. So I'll just do it as normal. So with those two, I'm gonna try to look at the viewfinder to do it. But basically I just have to hook the rubber band. It's really hard to talk as well. Onto this bracket. So it's like a triangle. So I'll try. I've literally felt a huge difference in the way that my jaw sits. My jaw still wants to kind of like rest back where it used to, where my back or my bottom teeth were completely behind my front teeth. Now it's not even possible for my bottom teeth to be behind my front teeth. Like that's as far back as I can move my jaw is right here. It's freaking crazy to me. I'm not exactly sure where my bite is going to be at the end. It's still kind of awkward, like my teeth clank together in weird places because everything is shifting and moving for right now. I'm just really trying to stay consistent with my rubber bands because that is really important for making sure that your braces come off on time because the rubber bands are helping a lot with just the lining of the bite and everything. I'll admit I have days where I totally space it and I totally forget to wear them and I'm just like, oh. But I am trying to be better about that just because Obviously, I want my braces off as soon as possible. One eternity later. 
Hey you guys, it's me. We are now two years, five months in. It's definitely taken a lot longer than we originally thought. Basically the past six months or so, they've been making little adjustments here and there to my rubber band pattern. So right now, it looks like this. Now that they are straight, we just need the bite to actually be aligned. So that's all we're waiting on. Get this, you guys. <laughs> I went in today and they told me I was a half a millimeter off. I'm thinking that means that we are really close to the end because last time, I think it was like three weeks ago, I went in and they said it was about a millimeter off. Now we're at a half a millimeter. So hopefully, I think September 4th is my next appointment. Hopefully that is when I will set the date to get these babies off because everything is gonna be looking good. That's where I'm at right now. I have been, <laughs> my cat is sniffing the camera, it's so cute. There hasn't been like a lot of changes. I didn't wanna just be like, okay, now here's my new rubber band pattern. Okay, done. That's literally all I had to update you guys on with my rubber band patterns essentially and getting my wires changed out. I've stuck with the gray power chains pretty much the whole time, so. She is so needy today. Now that we are almost two and a half years in at this point, I cannot believe it's even like, Sandy! I cannot believe it's even been that long. Like the fact that I vlogged on the day that I got my braces and it's already been that long. Now there's cat hair everywhere. It just blows my mind. So I did want to jump on here and just update you guys because it's been a while. So here's what my teeth are looking like. My bite does feel like a lot better than it did even a few months ago. So now when I close my mouth, that's my overbite situation. It's very, very minimal. The next time you see me may just be the day I'm going in to get them off. Who knows? They've been straight for a while now. We're just waiting for like the bite alignment to be just right. So I will keep you guys updated from here. Hey, you guys. I'm just gonna, I thought I would be able to just set you down right there. Hang on one second. Uh, uh, okay. Um, today's the day. I'm so excited to not have metal in my mouth anymore. I don't even think you guys understand. I'm just popping on some lashes really quick because I know they like take an after picture to compare to like your before picture and I just want to look like way better than my before picture. So decided to pop them on really quick and give you guys one last update before my braces are off. This is such a weird angle. I'm like don't mind my background right now. You know, as usual, it's fine. So yeah, I'm about to go get my braces removed. They told me it was gonna take about 80 minutes. So like an hour and a half of me sitting there to get these things off. But I know they do a lot of work on the teeth themselves after they take the braces off. Like they polish them and try to get any like staining off of them. They do a lot um, as they go with the teeth too. Like they've done a lot of filing on my teeth so that they feel smooth and like they look the same length, I guess would be the <laughs> right word. I don't know. It seems like a weird word to describe your teeth. They just kind of file them so that they look even and smooth and I know that they're just gonna kind of fine tune that today after they get the braces off and everything. So it's been about two years and eight months that I had to have these bad boys on. So yeah, wow, you guys are gonna see like a few years of my life go by in a flash in this video. <laughs> it's kind of weird to think about. I'm a little bit congested. I'm like getting over being sick. I get sick so often. It's freaking ridiculous. I hope that's not like annoying as they're taking my braces off like me <laughs> having like sniffle and stuff. But yeah, I'm I'm pretty ecstatic. I'm trying to think of anything that I didn't mention to you guys over these past few years now. I just totally pinched my eyelids, so that's why my eyes watering. I have to leave in 10 minutes to make it to my appointment and I am just, oh my gosh. I'm not excited for like actually this process I'm about to go through, but I'm very excited for afterwards. What they told me is they're going to take the braces off, do all the polishing and whatever, filing if they need to, that kind of thing. They end up sizing you for your retainer and then you have to like come back in a few hours after getting the braces removed to pick it up and then I'm done can't believe I'm actually saying that. Oh yeah, I did want to pop on here mainly, duh, to talk to you guys right before I get it done because I'm actually going by myself. Corey had to work and couldn't get the time off to come with me, so I'm not going to have any footage from that, but I think it'll be okay because it's going to be pretty boring, especially since it takes so long. I'm almost like glad I won't have that footage to have to go through and figure out what might be interesting for you guys to see. I'm sure there are other videos online of people getting their braces removed if you want a little bit more detail about that, but yeah, this video was essentially just to be my experience with them. Just, I don't know, to give you some insight on what it's like as you're going through it. I hope that this video did that for somebody out there. That's really all I'm hoping for. I will update you guys probably before I even pick up my retainer, so. Here's your final look before they're gone. It's 
weird. When I first saw them, they looked huge. Now they feel like small. I don't know. I'm like, I feel like there's nothing in my mouth anymore. It's so crazy. They look so bright too. Like I'm so used to having metal on them. They just look so bright. It's so weird. It's been like all day now. So please don't mind my makeup. I didn't bother to touch it up for this little update or anything like that, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys because obviously that's what this whole video has been le leading up to. Still learning how to talk. That still hasn't changed. It's so weird to see myself look so drastically different. They look like fake teeth to me. It looks like I have veneers or something. Like I keep looking and I'm like, that's impossible. There's no way my teeth look that good because do you guys see what they used to look like? <laughs> so the braces removal process, it took, yeah, right around an hour and a half. They started by putting my permanent bottom retainer wire in, which I can show you guys. I just have to kind of floss the same way that I did my braces, kind of going in under them with that little, it's like a threader that you just thread the floss through a loop with and you just stick it in. You can floss, whatever. It's a little bit more complicated than not having one, but it's gonna make sure that these teeth really just stay straight no matter what. So I'm okay with it. And then they also did a little permanent retainer on the top as well. I don't know if that works or not, but this is what it looks like, I think. <laughs> It's basically the same thing as my bottom. Um, there's just a little wire connecting my front two teeth to keep them from like spacing out from each other because that was just one of his concerns. So I went to a place called Robinson Orthodontics and um, Dr. Robinson is actually the guy who took my braces off today. He runs the whole institute and he was pretty quick about it. The only thing that was kind of uncomfortable, I mean, okay, getting your mouth worked on no matter what is gonna be uncomfortable. But the only thing that I found was pretty uncomfortable was I have the, have, I had, the ceramic brackets on. So yeah, he had to kind of break them off because if you get the metal brackets, just the full metal, um, there's a little tool that they have that you can like squeeze the brackets and they just like pop off. But with the ceramic ones, they don't have anything like that. You literally have to like break them off of the teeth. It wasn't like painful or anything though. It was just like, I felt a lot of pressure and like sometimes it literally felt like my teeth were breaking because like the snapping of the ceramics and everything, it was just like, I really hope that was the bracket and not my tooth. <laughs> but they totally warned me beforehand that that's how it was gonna feel. It was gonna kind of feel like they were breaking my teeth painlessly. <laughs> Just something to keep in mind if you get the ceramic brackets, which are a little bit more expensive, but they don't show up as much as the metal ones, which is why I got them. They just cosmetic cosmetically looked a little bit better. After the removal process, they basically just like polished and filed and did all this stuff to my teeth to make them look nice and pretty and even. A lot of people said they would feel kind of slimy and I definitely get where people were coming from when they say that because you're so used to like rubbing your tongue against harsh brackets. So now it's just like, oop, it just like slides. Yeah, it's very smooth and weird feeling. I went back and picked up my retainer and that's when they gave me a little bit more information about aftercare. So here is my little purple sparkly retainer case. I didn't even pick this. They just knew I love purple and sparkles apparently. Inside are my little clear retainers. I have to wear this guy every single night. And then the top one, I actually didn't realize this was gonna be a thing. The top retainer I have to wear at all times for the first like two or three weeks, she said. And then kind of wean yourself off of it during the day. You cut back like two hours per day. So yeah, I get to wear this full time for like three weeks before I get to just wear my smile as is, but it's for the best. It's for like the long-term retention of this shape and everything. So yes, I'm definitely gonna be following that. I just popped them out to film this really quick. They gave me an updated mold too, which is really exciting because I'm gonna compare it to the mold that I first got. So this is my updated mold. It's something that you definitely wanna keep because they can use it if you need a new retainer for any reason. My overbite isn't 100% fixed. Like my teeth don't sit like that naturally together. My bottom teeth sit very slightly behind my front ones or my top ones. So for comparison's sake, just show you guys how crazy different my teeth are now. Like that's ridiculous. I knew it was ridiculous. That's why I was willing to pay seven grand for braces. You know what I mean? Like I wanted this to be fixed because I knew my overall quality of life and frankly, my oral health was not going to be very good if I just lived like this forever. I'm just like, 
flabbergasted. I think it's after a year or so I can stop wearing my bottom retainer at night completely because I do have that permanent one in there. Teeth do have a memory so they want to kind of shift back to where they were before but the bottom one I'm not gonna have to wear forever. The top one I am gonna have to wear at night forever nighttime for a lifetime. But that is okay with me because I would much rather wear a retainer every single night than have crooked teeth the rest of my life. So it is awesome not having to worry about the rubber bands anymore. Thank you, God. <laughs> the only issue so far is gonna be learning to talk again with the retainers behind my teeth. I never thought that this day would finally come that I have the smile that I've always wanted. And I feel like I look so different. Although a lot of people are like, you don't really look that different, but I don't know. I feel like when it's yourself, you really feel different. When I first saw myself in the mirror, when they had me go look for the first time, I was like, oh, my teeth look giant. But I've heard that before, so I knew not to freak out. After I'd walked out of the orthodontist, I like pulled up my phone immediately and was like looking at them. I was like, okay, you know what? They're actually pretty great. <laughs> so yeah, here's my new teeth. I can't believe I'm finally at a point where I can edit all this footage together and like post it. <laughs> Three years in the making. And it's funny that I filmed like every single update here in my room. So you guys have also seen like the evolution of me, the evolution of my hair, the evolution of my room, like, and of course my teeth. Duh. I guess before I go, I'll go ahead and pop my top retainer on because I have to do that anyway. I learned that these are about $175 to $200 depending on your orthodontics office. You don't want to break or lose these because they are kind of spending to get replaced. So you just kind of really just like push it on in the back and then yeah move forward it kind of just feels like you have those like fake teeth in you know that you get like out of quarter machines when you're a kid with like the hillbilly teeth it literally feels like that so there's a lot of like saliva buildup. i obviously talk a lot weirder so that's gonna be annoying the next three weeks trying to talk to clients like this if you get up close it's definitely noticeable that i have a tray on my teeth so that's kind of annoying but at the same time it's to benefit everything long term everything that they were your orthodontist tells you to do just freaking do it because they know what they're talking about. I do have a follow-up appointment for um, them checking my retainer fit and everything. I think they just called it like the retainer follow-up or like retainer checkup, something like that. Basically just to make sure everything's going good. So that is in about a month. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take that. I just wanted to take them out so I could talk to you guys normally for this outro. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and thank you for just coming along with me during this journey. I know it's been a wild ride. Okay, not really wild, but for me anyways, it's just been so crazy to see how my teeth have changed and just how my overall self-confidence and everything has changed since my teeth have been straight and especially now that my braces are off because I can just like smile and know that like everything looks pretty. It's such a weird feeling. I can't even explain it to you guys. If you are going back and forth about getting braces because you have teeth that, I don't know, maybe resemble anything like this, I 100% say do it. It's so worth it, especially if you can find an orthodontic office that can do like payment plan kind of thing because that made all the difference for me. I couldn't just fork out thousands of dollars to get this done all at once. If anybody's in the Southern Oregon area and is looking for an orthodontics office, then I definitely recommend Robinson. They are just incredible. I'm so, so happy with the results. It's been a long time coming and I didn't know if we would like ever get there or if they would be anything like I was imagining in my head. Now that like I see myself with them, it just... It just like works. I'm just like so happy. <laughs> Once again, thank you so much for watching. If you have any additional questions, definitely leave a comment down below and let me know. I freaking love hearing from you guys. So please leave a comment down below. I really hope that getting my braces off makes me want to sit in front of the camera a little bit more than I did before. And hopefully you guys will be seeing more videos from me for that reason, or you know, I'll just stay the same. <laughs> but anyways, guys, we made it to the end. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you really soon in my next video. Bye.